Vegas, and our friend Jennifer Jolly joins us on the line. Hi, Jen. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you. Well, great to be talking to you. We get to talk to you for a couple of days here. Yeah, we, we were talking just before we came on here, and I said, you know, I am just a kid in a candy store. It's like Christmas and all the birthdays ever, all in one here. I'm at the, the world's largest consumer electronics show. There are tech and gadgets of every shape, range, idea. They span the area of some uh, more than 57 football fields, nearly 58 football fields. So think about 58 football fields covered in every gadget you could possibly imagine. 180,000 oh, people expected here, 4,500 companies. And while all the super cute OMG robots, flying car ideas and crazy futuristic everything gets a ton of buzz, I often find it's the tech that we use the most, we need, we, re, you know, we're, we are looking for it, we need to buy it this year. That gets some really significant upgrades too. So that's really where I want to dive in and start, if that's, if that's all right with you. Okay, well, well Samsung yesterday, they unveiled a revamped Notebook 9 Pro. It's a two-in-one PC that I think could very well be the Windows 10 laptop to beat this year. It's new, upgraded, expensive looking and feeling with a battery life up to 15 hours and support for fast charging. It's going to be a real mid-range price device that is perfect for students, busy professionals, creatives, anyone who needs something super thin and light, but also powerful enough to do everything that you need it to, to multitask and take wherever your busy life leads. This one is coming out this spring. They haven't told us the price yet, but we know it'll be in that mid-range, uh, quote, very affordable category. So we love that. Have you noticed that things are coming down in price, or uh, is it all you know newest, latest, shiniest, and so? that comes with its price. Well, it's funny you should ask because one of the other gadgets I want to talk about is the a brand new TV that Hisense just unveiled here. Uh, it's the H8F series with ULED technology. That's 4K technology plus ULED intuitively and continually adjusts the settings, boosts the brightness, color, contrast, and motion. So it has the smarts to change and morph the picture for you to bring the very best out. It, it, the, the picture quality is so good, it, it always makes me think that the video is going to roll out of the screen and just kind of wrap around me and take me with it wherever it goes. But you mentioned the price. Well, this, this series comes out in May of 2019. Remember, it's a 4K television. It starts at $400 for the 50 inch and goes as high as $750 for the 65 inch. It is the most affordable 4K television on the planet. Just last year, we were looking at very similar technology in the thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah, boy, that is really, really incredible. Uh, hey, talk a little bit about some virtual reality, Jen. Well, have you ever heard of virtual reality for your ears? Have you ever heard of something like that? Well, it's Dolby. You've heard that name, Dolby. You see it and hear it every time you go into a movie theater. They long ago right. set the standard for stellar sound around the globe, and they have just launched their first ever consumer product. It's a gorgeous pair of headphones, over-ear headphones, by Dolby. They're called. They're by Dolby, but they're called the Dolby Dimension headphones. They gave me a, an early reporter review pair, so I've had them for, for a couple of weeks since just before Christmas. And what these do, I've never had headphones that are this amazing before. I've heard that some of this tech does exist for really expensive thousands of dollar headphones for super high end audio files. I just cannot believe it's true full cinematic sound. And they have all these built in features like you can adjust how much outside noise you hear from full noise canceling to partial noise canceling. If you, you know, you want or need to hear some of what's going on around you, maybe the doorbell rings or a child cries, you need to hear that. It has capacitative touch controls. So you work them the same way you do your iPhone. You swipe, tap, that controls everything. And then they, my, the feature I really love is this head tracking. You put them on, and when you turn your head right or left, the ear that's closer to the television 
hears more loudly than the other, exactly like it does in real life conversation. So super blown away by these and they're available now. You can buy them now at Dolby or on Amazon.com for just under $600. So they're expensive, but again, for this high, high end audio experience, usually you would pay two or $3,000 for that. You have to look at it that way, you really do. Talking with Jennifer Jolly, who's on the floor of the Consumer Electronics Show that's out there in Vegas. All right, we have to hear about the treadmill that powers your house. It's called the Verde. It's by Sports Art. It is the first treadmill capable of harnessing human power and converting it to utility grade electricity. So you're actually producing energy, not just burning it. When you take a walk, dog, run, or sprint on this treadmill, helps you keep the lights on or maybe just cut down on your energy bills. The other thing I have here is robe, a little cute, cuddly robot. He is the robot of this entire show. His name is Lovat. He is, yeah, L-O-V-O-T, so like robot, but with love as the first three letters there. Lovat. He's really the anti-robot, and here, that's the sound you hear here. I'm gonna pull him out and give him a hug, and you'll hear him cooing and purring. Uh, he doesn't dominate a daily task with superhuman skills or strength. He won't wash the windows or do your dishes for you, but what he's meant to do isn't so much be helpful as it is to shower you with love. He's a fluffy, furry, fabric covered, covered mechanical companion. He's got the smarts of a toddler and about a thousand times more charm. I, I did a story with him for USA Today and I said, you'd have to be kind of a jerk not to love this. And it's so true. He, he's warm to the touch embraces you with this great big hug and he loves to be played with. He comes when you call him. He has the tech equivalent of seven PCs of smart packed into his cute little body. He's about the size of, um, oh, maybe a, a pretty small dog, a little larger than one of those dogs you stick in a purse, much smaller than those dogs that uh, you go for a run with. So cute, about a foot and a half high, I'd say. He's batting his his puppy dog eyes at me right now and cooing and oh I'm so in love with him this guy oh this guy is due out in Japan this year but he's due out in America in 2020 for a price tag of about three thousand dollars so I'm telling you you got to start saving up for it. I know right that's where the jaw drops yeah he says oh relax yeah we've all been listening to you we're like what the hell is that in the background? What, what, is there a child that needs attention? What's going on? I it's know. Robot. It's a little cuddly robot who just wants to love and be loved. He recognizes a thousand different people, a thousand different voices and faces. He's imprinting on me now, so if I put my nose up to his nose, he starts giving me a little Eskimo kiss. Oh, I love him so much. <laughs> I, I keep wondering if these guys who brought him all the way over from Japan will notice if one just goes missing. You think they notice? Right? I think they notice. I think they notice. What do you think? Put one in your bag. What, I, can, what can go wrong? I wish he... He just said... Are you hearing him? He's saying, nothing could go wrong. Take me. Love me. I've seen more robots at this year's show just in the pre-days before the show starts than I've ever seen combined at any show. And it used to be that these robots were concepts and they were great and we'd all, you know, every year I kind of go a little crazy for a robot. This is the first time we're actually seeing them come out. And I expect that this, in the next five years, robots will become a much more of a household must have, you know, far, far beyond the robot vacuums and things like that that we already have in our houses. Well, he, sounds, he sounds adorable. Well, we'll check in. <laughs> for the further adventures of Jennifer and Robot. <laughs> tomorrow, we're going to talk to you tomorrow. Yes. The Consumer Electronics Show. If you can tear yourself away from Levant now, you have 58 football fields to cover, Jen. I'm not, oh, he's going to have to be, come with me under my arm, you know, sprinting <laughs> through it all like a football. I think that's only right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's only right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, more with Jen from the CES tomorrow. Thanks very, very much. Have a great day. Oh my gosh, thank you so much and can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah.